I'm Bobby Griffin, the Chief Diversity, Equity, Inclusion Officer at Rockwell Automation. So not only here on behalf of myself, which I'm very excited to be here, but on, on behalf of all our Rockwell employees and leadership as well. So very excited to have this. So regarding Juneteenth, tell me a little bit about the history of, of Juneteenth and why is it important to, to even celebrate and acknowledge Juneteenth? So the celebration started in Texas, of course, you are um, from Texas, which we understand. So we can talk about that a little bit. It's a recognition of the fact that Juneteenth represented a series and kind of a myriad of emotions. So the first thing was, okay, so we now are free, right? And just wrapping your head around the fact that if you were, if you were brought here and enslaved and everyone you knew who looked like you everyone you knew who was in your family had to succumb to whatever the whims of the slave masters and or their families and or their employees you in order to survive you have to have a certain mindset and so there's this celebration throughout the south it was wrecking the, the, the last state was of course Texas. And then there's this whole series of stories around how no one knew that they were free, right? And so these, 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 these um, slavers, these farmers, these sharecroppers, they never let the people who had a manifest destiny know that their destiny had been realized. These people, these formerly enslaved people, now have the ability to just live their lives, right? We didn't want revenge. We wanted opportunity. We just wanted to do our own thing, right? It was a time of just, just unconscionable celebration. But then we had to go through reconstruction. And one of the things that this museum does and our history has done is it's proven that people have through recognition and reconciliation and healing a resilience but our story is very very unique and significantly different because of the way it was manifested for so many years we're talking almost 500 years of the entirety of colonialism, slavery, and Jim Crow. As a child growing up, you know, in uh, in Texas, I thought Juneteenth was a global celebration. I I, I wasn't aware that it, the nation didn't or the world didn't celebrate. It was Juneteenth, and it, and it made sense to me. And it was I meant independence for slaves. And why wouldn't anybody celebrate that wherever you are? So so I assumed uh, that it was. Um, it was celebrated broadly. Didn't know that it was initially celebrated in, or, or one of the early ones celebrated in Texas and then in, in certain states over time. And so that way, and, that, and so, you know, the fond memories that I have of that those celebration or the everybody getting together in the parks and the cookouts and, you know, and everybody celebrating and, and telling stories, you know, the uh, some, some of the, uh, you know, our, our grandparents and great grandparents telling us stories about what they had to go through and persevere and, and helping us to understand to the point you made earlier where we came from. And so how we should carry ourselves because of that, that lineage and what they and what they had overcome. So hearing those stories are very important. Now there's going to become this awareness, which is really a good thing, right? Because when you become a holiday, it's a big deal, right? Uh, especially a national holiday. And it then gives museums and other organizations, not-for-profit organizations, the ability to tell the truth about what this celebration is really about. And that's, the, that's once again, the thing that is so important about museums is um, we're, 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 we're sharing our history from a vantage point of the truth. So thank you for sharing this great information. Thank you for all you do. And, and Rockwell is very happy to, to partner and be a supporter of you. As I mentioned earlier, we not only celebrate, celebrate diversity, equity, and inclusion inside the walls of the company, but outside as well. And uh, one of the key tenets of our strategy is, is partnership. 
And so we look forward to continuing the partnership with the, with the museum and the community to con continue to raising awareness and putting, getting the truth out there. So thank you very much. Well, thank you. And I'm personally and professionally now um, happy to, to, to re-partner with you guys uh, here in Milwaukee. And uh, I'm hopeful that people will, will, that are viewing this and, and people that work with Rockwell and all of your other partners visit the museum because this is for all of us. This is our museum. Uh, this is our community's museum. It's more than Bronzeville's museum. This is America's Black Holocaust Museum. So this museum invariably and inevitably belongs to everyone. Absolutely, absolutely. And our company is supporting an employee day to visit the museum and we encourage everyone to, to visit as well, themselves and their families. That's wonderful. Well, thanks so much. Thanks for being here and we look forward to being uh, continue to be your partner.